playing MK Leo in 20, 2032 right now. You except, know what I mean? Except the drawback is that he can only see when he up tilts people. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And, and he's living in the future, but the present is the past. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little silver bow tie Let's on for Peepnut and the player two, Moxie, player one picking Wolf mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on PS2, the classic, as classic. per usual. Has anyone, has anyone counterpicked off of PS2 yet? I don't think so. Eight? I, I kind of want to keep a counter if we see anyone pick the first stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far in top 48, I don't think we've seen anyone. Who can be the first person to switch off of PS2? A good bit of chip damage here for for um, Keep at the beginning, and like you said, Moxie choosing to play this one a lot slower to feel out how he wants to move around the stage, feel out how he's gonna throw out pellets, how he's gonna throw out projectiles. That's a cute little string. That's a lot of damage. Seventy percent on this Mega Man. Oh my oh, God! And the hardest that read Absolutely. ever. Taunts too. Oh my goodness, Moxie is really feeling herself. Absolutely, and a couple, like like I said, confidence just oozing from this player yeah. who is approaching oh. the upper echelon of that super super high top level. Beating Sweet, beating Spargo, like that level of player, winning yeah. majors and such. Moxie is the third seed right now, following a solid performance at Smash World Tour. Oh, oh the call out on that shine was immaculate. Did you see the little the buzz saw, the the string that Moxie did there? That was huge. She's so good with the items, like off of gyro, off of buzz saw, anything she can pick up, she's gonna get a little bit of a string off of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, oh, oh my goodness, see, that see, was a great up tilt. Up tilt, just up tilt. Missed the tech, I'm gonna up tilt you. A fantastic conversion here from, from uh, Keep Nut, but still 114% is the lead for Moxie. And she's she's so quick to, to use that oh, reflector, but I love the bait. Up? I love the bait from Peep Oh my goodness, Peep is throwing out stuff with Mega Man I've never seen before. Just these intuitive plays to kind of uh, Punish you for staying in shield. The issue is these techs. he's still 144 percent. He's still like really far behind in this game, and this but is like one like solid like dash attack sweet spot back Whoa, air no, Mega Man's a heavy and guy. back throw oh, at the ledge I from say death. The skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Moxie, like as as much as Pete is trying to mix up his timings, his item play to get around the reflector, get around Moxie's like really good wolf movement, it's not getting him too much outside oh, wow. of a bit of a tiny mix up and like one or two small hits. Back throw gonna turn into an edge guard situation and Moxie choosing oh, to just I love just avoiding that setup entirely. Like, nah, just go straight back on stage. I'm out of here. You can have nah, your fun. You deal with that. You deal with that. I don't want any part in this. And 31% is the amount of extra credit so far. And he looking for a bit of a conversion and 55% that dash attack into up tilt. Just always ready for it. Moxie. These fairs. These fairs are really, really stopping a lot of Moxie's approaches. Uh, Still able to still able to find her way in. Very impressive uh, because of how impressive Peep has been with these pellets. Oh my oh god! My. Just the weight there. That Blood. was scary. Bloodless in in Peep's eyes. He saw the up tilt. Oh, I love the Z drop there, and so much shield pressure from Mati. Peep's shield oh, yeah. is really low, and this is like a couple of solid hits away from just breaking it. Oh my goodness! And the these these wolf flasks have been so talk good. About those? Oh my goodness! Mati is so good right knows now. Knows when to aggress with him. Knows when to get right back. One hundred and thirty-nine percent. Mati has fully lapped Peep in percent already. Down tilt, not going to be enough just yet. But this is this is a tough ledge trap situation for Peep to be in. Oh my goodness! And Mati is just and there's the F tilt. F tilt. Mati is just not letting herself be in any situation where she is in any risk of dying. And so like, clean. Like you Moxie. really, you really have to force Mox. You really have to force Moxie into these 50-50s. You can't really just set them up willy nilly. Mm -hmm. And Moxie would just be like, oh, I guess I have got to take this. Moxie's disadvantage is so great, and just being like, oh, I. I, I don't need to deal with this. I, I don't need to deal with this. I, I can just get away, reset. I've been winning these. I've been winning these neutral interactions. I've been knowing how to get in on you. And so if I just get out, what? who's to say I can't just do it a couple more times? You said it can be very difficult for Moxie to approach around those Mega Man projectiles, but when she got a lead, she didn't really need to. She just mm -hmm. got to sit back. She got to relax, think about how she wanted to methodically get around these projectiles, how she wanted to get in on this Omega Mega, Mega Man who's so good at running away and throwing projectiles, so good at keeping keeping threat ranges at bay. And Moxie found her opportunities every single time that game and went away with a two-stop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. Are, are we gonna see the switch to Battlefield? This is the first time I think we've commented on a stage that isn't PS2. <laughs> Peeb, the man who saved the cast, saved the kid, 
Save, save the stage list. And save, save, save stage Jeez. diversity. Oh my goodness. Looks like Budabam and Budabim Goblin are at Goblin game, are game five right five now. Budabam on a tear this tournament. There is no way. Already beating Omega. Beating but Omega, beating Trent, number 10 in South Carolina, and now uh, like taking Goblin to game five is unbelievable Three. from Budabam. But and there's a, there's a crowd around that that's set up right now oh, huge in crowd. the corner. But uh, let's see how this uh, stage switch uh, is gonna help him. Yeah, yeah. It, it will. It does seem like it'll be a little bit harder, I guess, to maneuver around uh, like forward air and back air. You'll get a. You'll be in a much safer position to just uh, throw out a bunch of tornadoes. Uh, but at the same time, Wolf maneuvers so well. Uh, he can just like drop off forward air. He can drop off nair. Uh, these like back ears while you're on the platform are going to be super impressive, but uh, oh, perfect I think he hit the stage because he wants a little bit more space. He's going mm -hmm. for the read again, Moxie. Like, you can tell, she's kind of in Pete's head right now. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But I, yeah, I think I think Pete is going to want a little bit more space to be able to, to get around this wolf. Maybe maybe run away a little bit more, stay in shield for a little bit longer, find a way to get these projectiles, get some confirms in off of them. And that third platform, that little bit of extra space is definitely going to help out in that regard. Oh my. Oh, down here into the back here? Ooh, beautiful. This is a lead for, for oh Peep Nut here, and the, and the Lemon's not gonna lead into anything more. The down air not gonna lead into anything either. And they are playing, they are respecting each other's options so well. And the sliding F's not gonna be enough just yet. Beautiful. Catching the dash back, yeah. Oh, the That's, Nair, is that gonna be enough? Um, uh, might be. It is. Yep, it is. I think she was ready to footstool. Yeah, very. I think very I would have. Wait, do you get a feedback after getting footstool? You do, you do. So, so I'm glad you would have had to just nair. Great conversion from Peanut, just yeah, running right? off and forward air off, the, off the buzzsaw. And raw back air from Moxie, oh, going to lead into a that. bit of a string. Good DI from, from Peanut to avoid the, the follow up up air. And great catch on the buzzsaw. Oh, down to a barely going to miss that. My goodness. Peanut sliding out of a couple of really sticky situations. Great parry as well. There we go. Let's see if uh, let's see if he can get a little bit of momentum on this second stop. Not too much of a hill to climb, if any at all. Um, it's really just going to be a matter of being able to set. Up. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you have tilt there? That was that was punishable on hit, uh, and it did not help that Peeb landed right on the platform, so the Moxie would just be in perfect spacing to. Uh, get that fair back there. Moxie is throw so threatening off the stage. You saw her like drop back and wolf flash, like waiting for a neutral get up from Peeb, trying to get the trying to get the read there. It's so scary. Playing against this wolf who knows her threat range is so well. Oh, again, same setup. Peeb has been playing around these path platforms really, really well. The buzzsaw back there, completely negating completely negating Wolf Nair and then just giving the perfect opportunity to back air and kill it. Yeah. And Moxie on her last oh, stop in game two here. This is a bit of a lead for Peeb, and he's, and he's oh, doing a lot better in this so. game. And the up smash is not going to be enough. Good DI. Yeah, very, very, very heavy character Mega Man is. All that metal. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he seems like a like a like a pretty limber guy, but he's got some weight to him. Got oh. some parts. Well, he's as heavy as a rock, man. <laughs> Get off the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. 56% uh, on Moxie right now. People have been doing a great job slowly uh, widening the gap with uh, very non-committal options, respecting all of uh, the, the big good wolf moves like F-Tilt, getting right out of the range of those, understanding and when he is in that threat range. Keep happy to stay at a distance and keep whiff punishing because Moxie, it's on Moxie yeah. to make something happen now. If this game goes to time, Peep wins because he has a stock lead, he has a percent lead, he has everything. 191% on Peep, and it's weird, it's, it's strange to oh. see Wolf not be able to kill like this and not punish, not going to go through for the up tilt. We saw a bit of a, a bit of a, an attempt on the call out from, from oh, Peep there. That back there is definitely going to be enough at 118%. Moxie isn't out of this game by any yeah, means. Definitely not. Uh, a, a short string into like what a fair back air at 70. That's killed. death. That's death. But Especially Peeb, with some rage. Peeb is not at all scared. Oh my god! Oh, the I, I saw the up tilt. Oh, I thought I thought that was I thought that was perfect up tilt territory. But the and forward air kill. Not no quite way. enough. Yeah, not quite Wolf enough. A bit heavy. 
Well, flashing back to legend, that, that bear is gonna probably going to be yeah, That one's definitely going to kill. Game two, great adjustments from Peeb. Using the platforms so well. Peeb taking it back game two. I think we have Roy taking game five over Buda Bam. Yep, yep. That's, yep. that's Goblin. Goblin. Taking game five over Buda Bam. <sighs> But Unfortunate for our hometown hero, losers. but he's still in losers. That was winners. Yeah, that was winners. For number 15 in North Carolina. Yeah, that was winners for number 15 in North Carolina. What would you expect? We're North Carolina, We're baby. North Carolina. North Carolina, North Carolina is Carolina, popping baby. off. We're kind of popping off. When was the last time North Carolina had this good of a performance on a North Carolina regional? All the time. Every single tournament ever, actually. Are you sure? Yeah, Those yeah, every single rough tournament for ever. I think, I think like a North Carolina player has gotten like all of top eight in every regional tournament. That's definitely true. That's 100% like accurate. Don't fact check us. Top eight, top eight last uh, just relative was definitely not. It was all. It was Jigs, Regalo, Sen, Jigs, Deep Blue, and Regalo again. Yep, 100%. Going into game three, straight back to PS2. There is no uh, DSR in this rule set, so you can't Boxing do that. Boxing free to go back to her comfort stage pick. And if if she takes this game, Peeb is welcome to go back to Battlefield. Again. Uh huh. That would be hilarious. I think that's what might end up happening. That might just be what ended up happening. But. Bit of a bit of a shieldy, shieldy first first couple seconds of this game where both players trying to get some shield damage, get some shield pressure. Maybe maybe look for a bit of a string, but everyone just both of these players just getting a little bit of like smaller strings, nothing too much. And Moxie getting a little bit of this advantage state looks really good, but 84% to 52% comebackable in a in a heartbeat. Oh, very much so, uh, especially with the way that uh, Peepa has been maneuvering around these normals. It's been extremely back. Oh, that was definitely a flub. Oh, gonna ki almost killing it. 75%. Insane. Moxie, uh, maybe. Getting a little nervous, I yeah, hope a not, little bit, a little, a little antsy here. Uh, definitely not like to her detriment, but it is noticeable in uh, the way oh that a goodness. few of these, a few of these neutral interactions have been uh, panning out. And I think Mega Man is an easy character to get nervous against because oh, when you when you see big hitboxes like the up tilt super committal ones, and you when you see the accuracy that Peepnut has with them. And the way that he's able to confirm into them, it can it can definitely be a little scary to, to play against them. Yeah, absolutely. It's like how do I, how do I get it on? Oh, that was a great goodness. read on the roll. Amazing grab. It's like it's like how do I get in on this? The buzz saw is so oppressive, but I jump over Up the smash. buzz saw. Mm. That was a great punish from Pete. Mm -hmm. oh, little wave land off of the off the dog. And Moxie. Behind again after after game one solid performance. Peep not adapting very well to how how Moxie likes to approach and how she likes to how she likes to finish out these stocks. Yeah, and Peep is slowly starting to get these more and more damaging setups, like uh, how they how how instead of just going for these like pellets or like a straight bear, getting like down air down throw. He's getting these reads off of like a dash back. The back uh, airs have been connecting a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Peep has been oh, see. Peep has been oh, Peep has been so much more confident in calling out these escape options from Moxie. It's making it a lot harder for Moxie to reset the way that uh, she was able to last game. And those F tilts not killing has to hurt a little bit, you know. But the Nair, great work from Moxie to keep that. There's nothing you could have done to avoid that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ledge trapping from the Wolfman out of oh, Washington, and that's going to be a big punch. Almost got the Smash Four setup. That's crazy. Thirty-six percent now, and this is another Wolf String away from being back to back to zero zero. Yeah, oh, it, it really is. Oh, that up air catch is nice. And it's going to yeah, lead deep into a bit of an advantage important. state. And very the important. Moxie at the ledge is going to be, it's going to be rough getting, getting off against this. Against see, look, Peep, Peep wants to create this wall. This wall. Oh, my God. That was off oh, the missed tech. Bear, up till again. So good at noticing that. The tech timing, I think, is really weird on the Mega Man. Bear. It is. It oh, is. great read, or great reaction from Moxie to, to get the grab. And, but Peep just oh, choosing barely to barely misses. Just floating across the stage lazily, making sure he can just not be at the ledge. That's where he wants to be, not there. Oh, oh my that, god! That's plus. That's plus on block. That is such that's a like per that, like timed that perfectly is plus, and you kind of just have to you have get to away, it. or else you will get grabbed. There is nothing that you can do that will beat out that grab, unless you like DSS and you have a frame one jab. We're seeing Moxie struggle a little bit to get these kills, and yeah, it's so. it's it's a credit to Peep as a player who's able to live for this long against a character that kills as well as Wolf does, and getting these extremely clean whiff punishes. So slippery, he can't like can't pin this this dude down. He is doing such a good job 
making it very ambiguous where he wants to go, but also allowing him to, to maintain a uh, stage presence. Uh, Every single time Peep has gotten a lead, he hasn't gotten like big strings with a lot of damage that up till finally he takes off from Moxie. But every time we've seen him get a lead, he's been really playing around spacing really well, playing on Sorb on a nice edge and going for lemons, getting a lot of chip damage. And I don't think any of the 82% that Moxie has gotten on this stock has been from like a big string. All of it's been chip damage, been a bit of a whiff punish and a, and a, and a back off from, from yeah, it really has. It, it's, it's It's not been nearly as uh, oppressive as the uh, confirms we were seeing in game one or even game two. Uh, Moxie's really, really kind of fighting for scraps at this point. But Moxie getting a little bit of momentum as soon as I say that. As soon as you say that. Commentator a little bit, cursed. A little bit too close with that forward air. Going to get an eaten up smash for that. That was a really great one. And Moxie saying run it back. Yeah, back right to back. PS2. Straight back to PS2. Moxie not one to tilt. I can tell you that. Definitely not one to tilt. Definitely not one to get in her own head. And knows what she can do and is thinking about the game right now. Fantastic. Wants a second. Uh, Peep's going to take a sip of water, again, give himself a moment. If Peep is able to make these adjustments to kind of slow the pace of the game, what's to say Moxie hasn't realized hasn't realized means of dealing with Pellet, hasn't realized the uh, the angles that she can take and so that she doesn't have to deal with as many of these oppressive projectiles. What's to say that Moxie hasn't finally figured out how to space around uh, these forward airs, these back airs, these shield grabs that are these grabs that uh, Peep has just been running in for to catch Moxie's uh, attempts at escaping. Moxie is super calm right now. You can see it in her in her eyes, in her in her facial expression. She's not worried about it. Very little string there. She gets so many of these little like cute little conversions. And oh my god, 77% just like that. Looking like game one Mox. Oh my goodness. Just that roll read instantly. Oh, the oh, up air kind of saving Peep there. It was it was a little rough, it was in, a, in a rough position to be in, and he's gonna get back a lot of that damage off of that one up air connecting. And this is tough for Mox to get down from. It's so it's so annoying to deal with with the Magnet tornado. Up air, oh my goodness. Because you can't you can't beat it. The only thing you can beat it with is down B, but if you're if you're a good Mega Man like Peep Nut, then, then he is... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, I want to cut you off because Moxie played that so oh. well. Did Positioned she herself had to grab the buzzsaw and just destroy. She had the crash bomber on her, air dodge through Peebnut, dropped it on him so he had to hold shield uh -huh. and got the back air off of that. Oh no! Oh, no. As soon as oh. that happens, oh, that's so that unfortunate. So but Moxie still looks clean. very unfazed by it. Insane. Moxie, Moxie like just kind of shrugged. It was like, like whatever yeah. happens. This is still yeah, a lead happens. for Moxie. Like yeah, still a lead. It, you you would not even be able to tell that that SD like that happened. Moxie looks unchanged. Oh my oh god! My look at these goodness. strings. Catching it doesn't that even matter. Jump. She's like, you can have that sock. I don't whatever. need it. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm good. You good? You need a second? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Whatever. Two fares here for Speed Nut. Gonna get a little bit of damage for that that laser and a nice little grab off of the off of the off the uh, on shield attempt from from Moxie. Moxie is just fully understanding the uh, interactions that she was winning in. And you can see her not choosing to approach too much. She, she's waiting. A oh, great punish on the grab. Calls out the grab that Peep has been getting these past few games. And this is this is a big adaptation from Moxie. This is what we like to yeah, see. This is what we want out of a top player like that. And the down tilt to stop the air dodge. Is this death? Not no, quite. It's not, it's not. And the uh, crash bomber oh, definitely scary. covered Peep. Moxie was Oh my god, it's that was a perfect spot dodge punish. Perfect from Moxie. Oh, beautiful. How how how? How are you not terrified there? You have got you got hit by like six different things in that short span of time and Moxie was just so calm. It was just, just like wait. Yeah. Wait, roll away, take back center, and try to go in some other time. I'll take 30 for this. It's all good. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just a regular Tuesday, you know? Mm -hmm. Who cares? Who cares? I'm the best in the world. Why should I care? I love that attitude. And ugh, up there, once again, saving Peep Nut. Like, throwing it out preemptively, uh, sort of stifling Moxie's approach with going for the, the fastball fair and for the nair and stuff. It, it's like the hitbox is thinking gets caught by the, by the up air. Mm -hmm. Up with a great crowd. Oh, no. oh no! That's another, another SD. SD. Only 28% on Peep. Let's hope. Let's hope that this is not stacking to the mental. Moxie's been playing like so well. 
Cute little spring here, but the the dare grabs. Oh my gosh, he, Ooh. he went for that earlier. Uh, oh. Just needs to tighten up the timing, and I think that's that's really hard to get around. These lemons into the into the more middle hitboxes like the fair the bear have been so clean this set. Oh, yeah. from Amazing. Oh, goes for oh, the hard thank, read thank and doesn't goodness, get punished for it. Thank goodness you did not get hit by that again. Great, great, great change there. I think Moxie sort of conditioned Peep Nut to be ready to roll at the ledge, and I think she's going to go for a punish next time she gets an opportunity. Let's see, let's see. Peep is definitely scared to go for a neutral getup. After uh, that first, I think it was like the first stock of the set. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was very, very early. Oh my goodness, Back row and now, Whoa. ledge trap situation for Moxie. Goes straight back to the ledge with the up. Oh, <gasps> no! Killed? The star KO. That killed? And two SDs from Moxie in Ooh. game four. That is such an unfortunate way to lose. Did we just get sent to an alternate dimension? Did Moxie just get, like, that was, teleported? That was some cheese. That was, that a was bit, some that was really a unfortunate. That was a very, very cheesy game four. Oh I don't goodness. think.